seven straight game winning streak. The Huskies ranked number one for the first time in the regular season since 1984. Come on to the field. Travis Hansen, who is having an outstanding year for Washington, will kick off. He is 10 of 10 for point afters, 5 of 6 for field goals. And it's time to play football. SC in Washington. Not many rivalries any better. Creighton from the 1. Lewis Jones takes a lick at him, misses, but is brought down. Rob Johnson will start at the backfield. As you see, first in passing efficiency, Creighton will be in there. Also, McFadden, the fresh, uh, freshman, will be in there playing, the redshirt freshman. Bender primarily a blocker as a fullback. Baselli, first-team All-American preseason, going into the 92 football season. The first and 10, ball on their own 18-yard line. Wide receiver split to the left side. Two in the backfield. They're going to throw right off the bat to Conway. Picked off. Shane Palcoa. He could go all the way. Going against the tight end. Down at the one-yard line. Palcoa's first interception of 92. It was able to stop Palcoa. First and goal. Bino Bryant. No. The play action. Touchdown. Matt Jones. First play from scrimmage. And the Huskies are up. First touchdown for Jones this year, and Larry Smith is down. Six zip. It was perfect for 92. And it is good. But I got to go back to that pass. He was the only receiver out there, Curtis Conway. And Johnson throws into double coverage. Conway and Creighton playing a little peekaboo right now, both staying right in the middle, not letting Travis Hansen see which will go where. It'll be Creighton again. It's time from the three. Up to the 15 and the 17-yard line. Receiver wide to the right is Larry Wallace, and they go with Creighton on the toss to the tailback. DeMarco Farr anchors the three up front, who played extremely well against Nebraska. Jaime Fields voted the hardest hitter in the nation of linebackers by Sporting News. Tommy Smith, he had the great hit for the safety against Grant, the quarterback of Nebraska, two weeks ago. It's only second and four after the six-yard run by Creighton. Out to throw again, this time Conway. They try to isolate him against Walter Bailey, and they get the first down up to the 41 of USC in a good play. Walter Bailey going against Conway. That's the matchup of the day, really, on the outside. Conway gets outside, has plenty of room, gets a first down and knocked out of bounds after he goes into Husky territory. First and 10, USC on the move, Creighton again. They find the seam as they get down to the 41-yard line. Mid-50s and breezy, damp. The running game will be very important. Second and six, play action. Conway, they're going deep to him. Not this time. Too far. Now, they're as good as any receiver core in the nation. And they got three of them out there now on third down and six. Johnson throwing all the way. Coming in short to Conway. Fumble! Husky ball! And he would have had the first down. Dave Hoffman comes up with a loose ball. Hoffman, as it, all great linebackers are, is in the right place at the right time. On first and ten for Washington, Bino Bryant gets a great block. First down midfield for Washington. The audible by Billy Joe. Bino again. Inside USC territory to the as Billy Joe again starts at quarterback with that 17-0 record on his shoulders. Darius Turner having an outstanding season as the starting fullback, along with Crawlick Mack and company. Lincoln Kennedy in his last game against USC. Second down and six. Over the middle tight end. Bruner had the first down. Let's see where they mark it. <clears throat> he will have it. A good tight end. Yes, he has a couple of them, too. First and ten. Bino holds on to the football. Tries to get a block by Eric Bjornsson. Comes up with almost ten yards. There's Mr. Webb right there. Giving up 100 pounds when he faces Kennedy today. Salmon, they moved him up from a rover to an outside linebacker spot with the two sophomores, Kopp and Williams, inside. And then Stefan Pace, an all-league strong safety. And a J.C. transfer. Second down and one. Turner fights for it and gets it. 
First and 10 from the 26 as Napoleon Kaufman comes in at the running back spot. Billy Joe one on one trying to go to Mack who is covered very well. It's second down and 10 as Bryant comes back in. Two wide receivers to the left. And the option. A lot of room if he can get a block from his wide receiver Joe Krolik. But Salmon number 24 is third and two. This is different with Bino finally lining up on the right side. Trying to go with Krolik over the middle. What a catch. Touchdown Washington. And he beat the veteran Oliver. <laughs> Try to catch it. <laughs> and the kick is good by Travis Hansen and Joe Krolik with his third touchdown catch of the year, and the Huskies are up by two TDs. Oh, Tommy Smith stripping him of the ball after that reception, and it resulted in another touchdown for Washington. And Conway has it. Gets to the outside to the 30-yard line. With first and 10 from the 32 for Rob Johnson and the Trojans. Toss sweep. Penetration by number three, Jaime Fields. Shotgun formation now for SC on second and 10. Fontaine, they set up the screen for Creighton. He's got some room up to the 40, the 42-yard line, very close to a first down. First and ten. They gave him the first. Creighton, nothing doing. Oh, my. Playing awfully well and will be a, at least a fourth or fifth round draft pick. On second and ten, Walter Bailey so close against Curtis Conway. Third down and ten as Travis Hanna, Conway, and Wallace are all split to the left side from the shotgun. Looking deep all the way. He's got a man if he can connect it. Did he hold on? Yes, he did. Travis Hanna, number 19. You can see he also has some hands that can catch a football. Lays out here. Get those elbows underneath it. He can put them up and pick them down. A 40-yard pass play. Now they go to Creighton. Dave Hoffman wraps him up with Tommy Smith, but not until he gets down to the 11-yard line. Styles looks like he's going about three different directions at the same time. Conway split left for Larry Smith. Creighton is stopped by Dave Hoffman. We know him when he was at Tulane, Arizona, and now at SC. On third down and four. Looking to the white side of the field. Andy Mason tries to get to him. Mike Lustig misses. He's short of the first down. The attempt there. will be from, we'll call it the 17, so a 27-yard attempt. And it is good. So USC is on the scoreboard, matching last year's final score, 14 to 3 with 520 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a moment. 27-yard field goal. That makes him now two of five for the year. He came in one for four. Dino flag goes down as he gets up to the 27-yard line. It's against Washington with the hold. So they played a lot of football and only a couple of ball games. First and ten. Hobart still in a quarterback. Kaufman tries to get outside. Boy, he was about two blocks away. Something he's gotten much better at this season. Second down and one. Kaufman again. A lookout. Got a couple of blocks up to the 35, the 37 yard line, and a first down for Washington. Three receivers to the left side with Kaufman in the backfield with Holbert. Option. Boy, a lot of room for Billy. Tucks his shoulder and goes in. Kaufman now two carries, 23 yards. Second and five. Quick hitter, tight end. Mark Bruner for the first down. A wide receiver to each side as Turner and Kaufman make the move in the backfield. Yardson. Up here. It hasn't rained up here in yeah. quite a while. Hobart 5 of 7. Kaufman, and he is swarmed over this time. Holloquist 17. And first long, third and long situation for Washington. Looking deep. And Damon Berry in and out. Up to the punting team to pin USC deep. High punts. And out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Curtis Conway didn't have a chance there. It's Washington 14-3. to 
First and ten on their own ten for SC. Two receivers to the left side. Creighton, big opening up the middle and finally brought down at the 20, a 10-yard gain. Second down and one. They only give him nine yards. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Snap the ball, even if it is early, to try to get the easy five. They have moved Anankin Smith in there, who is the backup to Jamal Fontaine. A little more meat, and look who made the tackle. Number 55, Denakin Smith, second down and 12 for the Trojans. Looking right all the way. Looking a man across, Creighton, and he had Dave Hoffman beat with Conway to the very top. The noise is there. Johnson, DeMarco Farr still has him. Got him. Huskies with only two touchdowns in the game last year against SC and LA pick up two in the first quarter. As Napoleon Kaufman awaits. Stonehouse, the younger brother of the kicker, a former kicker for Stanford. Not all that good a punt as it goes out of bounds. Mack and Kralik wide to the right side. They'll keep it on the ground. Kaufman looking for an opening. Willie McGinnis giving chase. Gets away from him, but not Holenquist, number 17. Typical Napoleon Kaufman, too. He'll get you a big game one way or the other. <laughs> a lot of yardage one way or the other, yeah. <laughs> Billy Joe to go upstairs. Looking for the inside. Kralik, I don't know. Did they give it to him? Yes, they did. Third down and eight. Gain of eight. To the right side. Looking left, looking right back for Crowley. Got to go, got to hurry. Oh, is able to hold on somehow along with John Herpin for USC. Offense, repeat third down. So, He's so, so angular, his trunk is not very big. He's all arms and legs. Third and 20, they march it off from the point of infraction. Not sure where that's going, and Stephon Pace is coming up with the interception, and he'll bring it up to the 39-yard line. Billy Joe really kind of throwing that one up for grabs. So a takeaway for USC. From their own 39, three receivers left, and they'll keep it on the ground. As Creighton gets tripped up inside. Ball on the 44, second down in five with the good old-fashioned eye formation. Bender, the fullback. This is only the second time he's carried the ball all year. Third down and three. Wallace, Conway, Joel Scott to the left side. One receiver to the right. They need three. Here comes the rush. No first down. And Jimmy Clifford. Low punt. Hoffman trying to get to the sideline. And he'll stay right there on the 20. For your TCI system. And illegal motion. They've won more than they've lost against the Crimson and Gold. First and 15, they go to the tight end. Ernie Cromwell, Ernie up to the 25, still wrestles his way to the 23-yard line. See, it's nice to have a big, strong guy working for extra yards. There goes Bino, slices his way past Mike Salmon for the first down up to the 38-yard line. He goes now to almost the wingback position. Two receivers left. That's where Billy's going. And it knocked out of bounds. Stephon Pace defending. Probably got tired growing up hearing about USC. That was his chance. Second and five. Little delay to Kaufman. And, boy, they were keying on him all the way as Brian Williams... Third down and 10, Bino and Darius Turner back there now. Billy Joe had the first down. Damon Mack, nine yard line of SC. Going for the left corner again, this one much shorter. Taken by Jason Seahorn at the 40. Rob has three wide receivers again to the left side with one to the right. He's looking one-on-one, -on -one, but it won't matter. He was looking to his right side. Rob has had a tough time today. He split his lower lip earlier. This will change most likely what USC wants to do offensively. And the noise is coming on for the new quarterback. Second and 17 after the sack. Perry, here they come. They set up the screen. Creighton and DeMarco Farr pulls him down for the loss. Jamal Fontaine would love to get into that man's face. Reggie Perry on third and 17. Going deep. 
Travis Hanna makes the catch against Walter Bailey down to the 19, the 18-yard line of Washington. He had a tough time against Wisconsin, too. Remember, they're, they're really testing. On first down, they test Bailey. They go to his side. Flag goes down now for Hanna for 92 yards for no gain. First and 15, they're back now to the 24-yard line from the shotgun. Going into the end zone. Interception, Tommy Smith. Forget another opportunity for a touchdown for USC. Reggie Perry intercepted on his third pass. Turnovers hurt you anytime, but in your own end or deep in the other end will kill you. Mark Brunell at quarterback as Bean O'Brien carries up to the 25-yard line. So the safeties have played well today. Second down and six after the four-yard gain by Bino. Darius Turner in front of him now at the fullback. Here's the option to Bino. Turner leading the charge. Bino tries to spin away. Can't do it. But if you can find a wide receiver who loves to hit, well, then you got a, a real commodity. Third down and four for Brunell. Screen, a very dangerous one to Bino Bryant. Into traffic. This is a beauty. High. The nose comes over. Back to the 30. Conway fumbles the ball. Still going. And finally, Russell down at the 41. First and 10 for USC with 4.41 remaining in the second quarter, and they are down 14-3. Here comes the reverse for Curtis Conway. Nothing doing. Andy Mason shuts the door, and that allows Mike Lustig second down and 13. Perry wanting to throw again. Looks to the right, and out of bounds he goes as number 19, Travis Hannock. Big, big opponent, big win. Third down and seven. Big play for SC. Pressure. Andy Mason can't get him. Needs to get inside the 50, over the 50, and I think he's a little bit short. The marker appeared to be on the inside of the 49-yard well, line. Sure. I think it's a pretty smart move. And you got a big quarterback, and you've got a reliable center at Craig Gibson. He might try the sneak. Let's see. Trying to draw the Huskies offside. They have. Yeah, they are. No intention of running a play. Ain't going to happen. Oh, there goes that. Oh, he might have it. Going off the right side. 305, second quarter, first and 10. Ball on the Husky, 47 yard line. Here comes Hoffman. They got him. Both inside linebackers. They are saying the ball was down. Second and 17. The screen, Craig DeMarco Farr can't trip him up. Andy Mason does at the 47-yard line from the 47 of Washington. Here comes Clifford, wanting to go deep. He's got Conway. Shane Falcoa knocks it off. Conway, touchdown, USC. Oh, my. After nine quarters and only a minute 52 remaining in the second quarter, the ball tipped by USC, and Conway gets... Perry just throws it as far as he can. Falcoa misjudges the flight of the ball slightly. Conway is there to take advantage of it. And the kick by Ford is good. And USC is right back in this one, down by only four. Let's take a timeout, a minute 52 to go in the second quarter. 14-10, Huskies. Cole Ford kicks it off. Nice and kick. He takes it deep. Woo! Huskies will bring this one out on the 20-yard line. There's a nice stab in that roll. I've been stuck in some small towns on Saturday night. I've enjoyed it. Now it is Brunel still in the ball game, firing complete over the middle to his tight end, Mark Bruner. They'll work against the clock here in the first half. And Brunel will try to get them down at least in field goal range. And he'll go for six if he can. Too much time from a USC standpoint. And he pops it to Darius Turner, his fullback. Oh, boy, is it. Brunel firing high and incomplete. Got the ball. third and four. Incomplete have come roaring back. John Saunders will tell you about that at halftime. Here, Washington, great, forced a punt. And it'll go out of bounds. The official <laughs> paid off for it. Here now, 
It is Reggie Perry and the Trojans who are attempting to come back. Creighton to the 20-yard line. He has been the tailback. Time remaining, first half. The Trojans content to bring the clock down. Well, Larry Smith and the Trojans have to feel extremely pleased about the turn of events after they fell behind 14 to nothing. It is 14-10. Huskies over to Trojans at the half. Opportunity to go to USC would be crazy not to go there. That well, John, everyone at ABC wishes you a speedy recovery. Back no, up to you, you, Brent. It appeared as though we might have a route on our hands. Then USC worked its way down for an important field goal, struck later on a deflection to Curtis Conway, and they start this second half. Dick Vermeil, now Billy Joe Hobart, who was the starter, with a second and eight for the top-ranked team in the country. Did they deserve it? Well, you'll be able to make up your mind after having watched Miami. Hobart on that short drop, firing low pass, and it's incomplete. Damon Mack. Hobart going long, and he overthrows Joe Krolik. But away from Conway as much as possible, but he'll need some distance here. Lousy out. punt. And in trying to keep it away, makes a mistake, a two-hopper, and now Conway will let it roll down inside the 35-yard line. Took a husky bounce, didn't it? First and ten, and the toss to the new tailback for the Trojans. He's the freshman, Dwight McFadden, and Dick Vermeil. into Clifford and Clifford took on a blocker over the middle deflected oh, nice and incomplete Chicken will attempt to attack here with Napoleon Kaufman the return man coverage team is down excellent punt <laughs> that can happen that keeps your linebackers free Hobart to Kaufman and uh, Julie Moran we had a SC showing blitz. He audibles. Now they come out of it and go zone, Brent. Let's see if Hobart reads it properly. Come Great play and reaching back was Prolick. What a pair of hands Joe Prolick had. Second catch he's made like that today. Back behind him. First down, Huskies. Ball on their own, 47. Hoffman oh. jitterbugs and gained all of one yard, but not quite as explosive as in the past. Over changes up. Fires to his slot man, incomplete. Eric Bjornsson. The kick, this is third and nine. The Huskies are 0 for their last six on third down. Hobart rolling to the left. Fires and he's got one on that far side. Oh. At the Trojan 37. The fake to Kaufman. Hobart under pressure. Gets it off toward the tight end. There was a receiver in that area. He's audibling. Now they change the defense, Brent. <laughs> and it's Kaufman into the heart of that defensive line. He might go deep now. Hobart. He was pressured that time. Mike Salmon lets it go out of bounds. However, this defense has not given USC a first down in the second half. Reggie Perry, the backup quarterback, hands off to the tailback. Creighton, no more than a yard. Watch how quickly this defense gets off the ball. The option. They take the option man around. They make Perry run it, and he does just that with Mason in pursuit and Pahakoa there. Now comes Creighton to the left. On a cutback, there's a big hole, and Creighton's across midfield for another Trojan first down. And he becomes so critical now in this attack because they're going to have to keep him running that option. Fields, second down and 10. Lone running back behind Perry is Creighton. The option. Here's Creighton. Good day. Took the pitch man. Jaime Fields did. Third and 12 for Perry and the Trojans. 
The blitz, fumble. Still loose and Fields wraps it up. The fourth turnover of the game for the Trojans. Washington with a first down inside the USC 30. Bryant to the 25 and Brian Williams. They get inside that 20. Watch out. Getting closer. Here's Bryant. Bryant swings outside and he's hammered at the 23 yard line. Certainly doing a good job today, aren't they? Now facing a third and six. And they hold their spot. Chevrolet Holding Scholarship Program. $1,000. Fourth down. So here comes a 40 yard attempt. The only field goal he's missed is the short one. He's four for five, or five for six, actually. It's long enough, and it's good. The first score, the second half's a field goal. Feel the Super Bowl clock ticking for you? I really do, and I think we've got the team that's good enough to get there, but it's a long way to go. we got to take it a week at a time and see what happens. All right, thanks for stopping by. Back up to you, Brent. And now they are battling the Washington Huskies. Here is Reggie Perry, the quarterback, going to go up on top. Incomplete, Pakoa, the defender. One of the reasons why they're number one. Perry brings the option. This is Creighton on the cut. And Creighton into the arms of Lustig, 74, and there's a penalty flag down. Pa Koa arguing. I'm going to argue about that. Hit against the offense. But he Third says, down. every time I see number three, man, I just... <laughs> Perry steps up against the pressure and fires complete to Larry Wallace. Excellent job. You know who is back at fullback. Stepping through there was Creighton in that time. But really puts him in charge of a down and distance situation here. Oh! Defense, Dave Hoffman. And Perry will attempt to throw for it, steps up, goes for everything. Over through Conway, who is double covered. He decided to come up here to Seattle, Napoleon Kaufman. Driven back to the 22 yard line. And out of bounds at the 27. 17 10. Huskies lead it by seven, and we'll return with more after this message and a word from our ABC station. Huskies and their fans getting ready for this showdown. Kaufman, the first play of the fourth quarter, dances. We are back, and uh, Hobart. Yeah. Normally, well, in the fourth quarter so far. This oh, year. they really, you know, they haven't given up a point in the games played this year in the fourth quarter. So it is second and 11. That's a kid. Oh, come on. Diving incomplete. Third and 10. Step on pace. The defender. Miami or Washington. Part of that story still unfolding. You watch the Hurricanes pull one out. Now it's Conway looking for an opening. Good defense. Surrounded and they would not give him a lane. Reggie Perry has replaced the injured Rob Johnson. He has time. Conway out of bounds. Oh, if he had picked him up on the cut. Now second down and 10 and Perry from that shotgun. Perry by Hoffman. Third and 15. Perry fires high to Conway and incomplete and Josh Moore. And it's a seven point lead. Stonehouse to Kaufman on the bounce. And you gotta get away from it. Dead at the 37 yard line. Into Seattle. And that's one of the reasons as Mark Brunel is in for his first series of the second half. And he drops the first play off. <laughs> but it also goes to tell you how much talent there is in Southern California. So the, the quick pop by Darius Turner. He's around from side to side for this Trojan defense. 
Brunel over the middle, incomplete to Mark Brunner. How many times have we seen Brunel? Okay. <laughs> Score one for the direct. Second and ten. Now Brunel firing complete to the 35-yard line. And Damon Mack. Sam struggle in Penn State with a big one against Miami next week. There's that short man, that handoff that Brunel has used, Darius Turner, the ball carrier. And, but uh, that one you got a question, and there's something to see. Let's get this play in front. Second down. Sacked at the 45. Thomas Holland rolling in on Brunel. This is third and 20. Brunel. They got and a penalty out. flag. Here he comes back inside. Now Jason Seahorn comes right into him, see? And no way. You have to call that. Hoffman. Hoffman to the 23. Second and 18 after that personal foul penalty. Mark Brunel. Coming out. The left-hander stands in the pocket and throws incomplete Eric Bjornsson. And here's another one. Third and 18. Brunel running away for the pressure by McGinnis. Throwing back now to Kaufman. Alley right side. Bubble it. Oh, USC recovered. Kyle Wachholz into the game number seven. You talk about a pressure cooker for a brand new quarterback. He'll come from the shotgun. Stands in, open receivers, Conway, out of bounds, far side. Hey, Dick, Woo. come in here. It's Wahols again, standing in the pocket, dumps it off this time to the running back, the Prep All-American on several lists. He threw for 20 touchdowns there as a senior. And here he is. Running away from the pressure. And he'll throw it away. There's no receiver there. The number one team in the country. And the number one player on the hot seat is Kyle Wahols. The third quarterback used by USC. Low snap. He runs out of trouble. Down at the 40-yard line. And it... Ooh, that's a low one. Fair catch at the 25. Then can't pass protect. They'll be in trouble. Folks, he's being nice to the Cowboys. He thinks the Eagles are going to win. Here's Kaufman <laughs> coming over to the left side. And out of bounds is the ball. Now the Huskies. Lead it by seven. Hole for the fullback, and that's Darius Turner. First down. Now Brunel. Using the fullback again for another five yards. 6-10 to go. They've turned it over to the left-hander. Looks like blitz. Here they come. Brunel with the option. Short of the first down. Good, good. Hanging in. They're showing blitz again. Brunel. Quick pop for the he first down. It. Incomplete. He could not get the handle on it. Time. Trailing it by seven. Oh, nice punt. Got it up there high. Conway at the 18. Conway to the 22. First and 10. Wahols hands to Creighton. Creighton explodes to the 38-yard line. Great linebackers, Clifford and Hoffman. Creighton pounds oh, away at gosh. that middle to the 42-yard line. Creighton to the 48, and another first down. The ball at the USC 48-yard line. Wahols hangs tough. Goes to Hannah, incomplete and out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, one game in spring practice, the Northwestern. <laughs> now Wahols sets the screen. They've got Conway in the middle. Conway to the 43 yard line. But they need a good two yards here. Creighton on a cut, spins, dives, it. and got it. First and ten. Wahols. Is that inside handoff to Creighton? Finds a crease. Makes his way to the 37. And 
second down. Wahos hands off to Creighton. Middles open. Creighton. First down at the 27-yard line. 105 yards with 25 carries. He's done a wonderful job. Now first down off a of fake. Wahos looking for Hannah. In zone intercepted by Bailey. Splendid defensive effort when it counted most. Barry snapping that one away in the end zone. The Huskies going to work on the clock. Great, great Saturday in college football. Dino Bryant. They want to see 44 seconds. They trail it. Washington was favored by 14 points coming into this game. And now Brunel is wrapped up here. Seconds will come on down. Shaking hands, the Washington Huskies stay unbeaten.